All right, problem 24 off the GRE subject math practice test. Are right, you given the system of linear equations and given a bunch of statements about it and asked which one is false? Uh, so we're probably going to end up having to row reduce this guy later on. I probably should have written this down here. I'll write it now so you don't have to watch me write it. Hit the pause button. It is all done for you. I wrote the coefficients for my matrix down here. Uh, but actually, before we even get into row reducing this matrix, I think we can answer some of these questions. The first one says the system is consistent. What that means is it has a solution. Does this thing have a solution? Is there some value that I can plug in for W, X, Y, and Z that will make all four of these equations simultaneously true? Uh, yeah, we can make them all zero. All right, this is what's called a homogeneous system. Um, and homogeneous systems always have a solution, at least one. It's kind of a trivial solution where W equals X equals Y equals Z equals zero. Change them all to zero, you get a true statement. The system is consistent. Um, so this is not a false statement. The system has infinitely many solutions. That I don't know yet. Uh, the way I can answer that is if I have a free variable, it'll have infinitely many solutions. So when I row reduce this guy, if I can get rid of any of the equations, uh, it'll end up having infinitely many solutions. The sum of any two solutions is a uh, solution. That is also a true statement. And again, that's because it's homogeneous. Don't believe me? I'll show you. Uh, so suppose we have two solutions. Let's see, we're using a lot of letters here, A and B. A and B are solutions to this thing. A is a vector, um, and I, and B is also a vector. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to consider what would happen if I applied this matrix to the sum of A plus B, to the vector, which is a sum of these two vectors. Well, this would be the sum of the matrix applied to A plus the matrix applied to B. And the by assumption, A and B are both solutions to this matrix. So this ends up being zero plus zero, which equals zero. So uh, because this is homogeneous, then uh, the sum of any two solutions is a solution. That'll always happen. The minute you saw these zeros here, you know that that would not be the answer. That would not be false, AKA that's true. Uh, so what about the rest of them? Neg this is a solution? Oh, probably. If you want to spend the time to figure it out, you could. You change all the W's into negative fives and X's into ones and make sure it satisfies each of these. It seems like a lot of work. Um, since we're going to have to row reduce this thing anyways to figure out if it has infinitely many solutions, no point plugging these in now. Let's row reduce first. Every solution is a scalar multiple of this guy. Uh, well, let's look at that also. Um, if I have one free variable, then every solution might be a scalar multiple of that guy. Um, but if I have more than one free variable, then that would end up being a false statement. So let's see what happens when I row reduce. So the way you row reduce this is um, I'm going to leave the first row alone, one, three, two, two, and kind of the zero that I'm not going to write at the end there. And then I'm going to knock out this one by taking this row here and subtracting the top row. So one minus one is zero, four minus three is one, one minus two is negative one, and zero minus two is negative two. Uh, and then I want to get rid of this three. So maybe I'll subtract um, three times this first row. So three minus three is zero. Five minus nine would be negative four. 10 minus six would be positive four. And 14 minus six would be positive eight. And then I will subtract uh, two times this first row again. So two minus two is zero. Five minus six is negative one. Five minus four is positive one. Six minus four is positive two. Uh, and now I guess my goal is to get rid of this, to get rid of all values in this column. Um, but what you might notice is that this third row here and this fourth row here are just scalar multiples of this second row. So when I go to try to get rid of this entry, I'm going to accidentally get rid of these two as well. Um, ditto for the bottom one here. This row is just negative four times the row above it. And this row is just negative one times the row two above it. So what I'm saying is they're really... If I could just find solutions to this matrix, and maybe there should be those zeros in here, uh, those will be my solutions to the original question. So what you notice here is you have four variables, but you only have two equations to satisfy. What that means is that you have two free variables. That gives you lots of information. What I'm saying is you can choose uh, y to be whatever the hell you want. You put in any number here, ditto z, any number you want. Go ahead and pick a number. Take a minute. Think of your number. All right, you got it? So figure out what negative 1 times whatever you chose for y was and negative 2 times whatever you chose for z were and sum those up. And then what I will do is I will choose x 
so that when I add X to whatever numbers you came up with, I'll get exactly zero. And you're like, wait, but that just satisfies this equation. What about the one above it? Well, when I plug in my value for X and your values for Y and Z, I'll get some number right here. And once I know what that number is, I can choose W accordingly to zero out this whole thing. What I'm saying is you have two free variables. You can picture your solution set as a plane. If your solution set is a plane, the system has infinitely many solutions. Hell yeah, that's true. In other words, it's not false. Um, and this is because I have free variables. I only needed one, turns out I have two. Um, this is a solution, well let's check. Uh, negative five plus three plus two plus zero, does that equal zero? Yep, sure does. Uh, zero plus one plus negative one plus zero, does that equal zero? Yep, sure does. This is a solution, so it is not, not a solution. It's not a false statement that it's a solution. Um, I don't know, by inspection. Uh, so this must be my answer here. Every solution is a scalar multiple. That, that's a false statement. Uh, the reason I know that's a false statement is, uh, let's say false because two free variables. As I said, my solution set is a plane and scalar multiples of this guy would be a line. If I had one free variable, then this would be a possibility. Um, but this is false because I have two free variables. So you could take some time and come up with specific ones. Let add, well, whatever. You don't need to. You can come up with a solution that is not a scalar multiple of this guy. But really, you don't have to because you've already determined this is a false statement here. Uh, so I guess I'll end this here.